Hello, welcome back to Light and Rear. Today we're going to look at context in an inspector course. This is the first video and we're going to consider J.B. Priestley and his socialist ideas. So hopefully after this video you'll understand a little bit more about J.B. Priestley's politics just like Maria. So before we launch into that it's very important to note that the first performance is in 1945. So Priestley is writing this play and thinking about it at the very end of the Second World War and it's performed in 1945. So it's that era, end of the Second World War, um, beginning of a new era. However, he chooses to set this play in 1912. He sets it in a world where we haven't had the world wars yet. So 1912, we have the reference to the Titanic and we have rumours about war, but we don't have actual experience of the world war yet. So it's really important when you're thinking about context, and historical context, that you differentiate between when Priestley is writing and when he is setting the play, when this dinner party at the Burling family home is happening. OK, now we've cleared that up. Let's start with socialism. So socialism is an idea that everybody should be treated equally. And for Priestley, in order to do this, one has to attack unequal treatment of people. And in particular, the political ideology of capitalism. So what Priestley is saying is that people who work hard should get a fair pay, and this should be shared out amongst many people. And people should be responsible for their neighbours, for people who are less fortunate than themselves. And that we should have an inclusive society where everybody is looked after. And this is in contrast to what Priestley sees as a capitalist society. A society where there is focus on making profit and increasing that profit and in its extreme format, capitalists are willing to exploit other people who work for them and do not really look after those people. And at the beginning of the century, certainly still in 1912, on the back of the Industrial Revolution, there were many people that owned mills and factories throughout the UK who were exploiting their workers. They were making the workers work very, very hard for little pay and they didn't have very good safety practices or anything like this. In 1912, we are working in an era where there is no national health system. There are no benefits for poor people. So in that early era, there were grumblings of trade unions and there were some unions there were grumblings about benefits and the sorts of things. The Labour Party was growing, but there was no proper organisation that supported people who didn't have a lot of money, who struggled to find a job, etc. So Priestley, by looking at Mr Burling and Gerald Croft and Croft Limited, um, is looking at the sorts of people who abuse their for good fortune and who do not look after their workers and help other people. You can see this very early on in the play where Mr. Burling talks about every man for themselves um, and Gerald supports him. So by raising these issues and looking at Eva Smith, Priestley is exploring the life of someone who has um, not very much money, who is struggling to find work, and who can't get appropriate help. This is very significant when she goes to ask for help. She's forced to go um, when she knows she's pregnant to the charity, which Mrs. Burling is involved with. And it's Mrs. Burling's decision whether or not she gets help. And I think Priestley is very clearly here supporting what we know as the welfare state system. So the welfare state system was something that we began to have in this country after the Second World War. In 1945 and onwards, the labour movement start changing society. 
and we get a national health service where people can walk to the hospital if they're injured and get some help without paying and we get a welfare state system where people are beginning to be able to get some benefits if they lose their job or if they need extra help rather than being destitute and on the street and I think what Priestley is saying in this play is this welfare state system is a very good thing we should not leave the fate of thousands of people in the hands of people like Mrs. Burling and Mr. Burling. We should stop the upper classes ruling and making lots and lots of money. And we should make it clear that money has to be shared fairly amongst the workers. So his ideas about socialism were really central to this play. And this play clearly says, let us examine our own behaviors. Let us examine the consequences of the things we do and how we are all interconnected um, between um, our actions have implications for other people. And we must consider that when we are acting, taking actions. So please do go and look up a little bit more about socialism and look at Priestley's own um, ideas. This idea was not always very popular in the mid-century um, and indeed Priestley got into quite a bit of trouble um, for suggesting these ideas and for wanting a fairer society. So there we have J.B. Priestley and his socialist ideas. Please subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and support our further videos. Thank you.